Hello, family. Come on in and welcome to my virtual closet. This is where the word Wednesday. And today I am rocking my unwavering faith tea. If you would like to order yours, ask me how. I would be more than happy to help you with that order. I am Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher, pastor of Tears to Breakthrough Ministries and Conference under the spiritual covering of Apostle Felicia Anderson of the House of Healing International. We are breaking through it together. And I'm also the founder and owner of Layla Simone Shop for a Cause, where you shop with a purpose and for a cause. What is the cause, you may ask? Well, the cause is simply women in crisis. We support nonprofits that support domestic violence shelters, breast cancer awareness and research projects, and some youth-related nonprofits. And so come on in on this Where the Word Wednesday. Again, welcome to my virtual closet. And I want to talk to you today about having unwavering faith unwavering faith, not being wishy-washy in your faith. You know, right now, I know a lot of people are going through, right? But we can still trust God. We can still have unwavering faith. And so I want to give you some examples in the Bible of, you know, um, heroes in the Bible that had unwavering faith. Amen. And so, you know, in Hebrews, um, um, well, I'm going to start Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11, um, faith in action. Say faith in action, right? And so a lot of these um, persons in uh, Hebrews, you know, they had unwavering faith. You know, they came up against a lot of obstacles. You know, some of them were in prison. Some of them were put to death. You know, they went through a lot but they still had unwavering faith. So let's go to the Bible, Hebrews 11. I'm going to start at verse one and kind of work my way down. And um, you can follow me if you like. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commanded for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, hallelujah, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Verse four says, by faith, Abel brought God better, a, a better offering than Cain did. By faith, he was commanded as righteous. When God spoke well of, this, of his offerings, and by faith, Abel still speaks, even though he is dead. Verse 5 says, by faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For for before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. So you see the, the pattern here, right? And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. Amen. And that he rewards those who earnestly seek him right? Verse 7 says, by faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen in holy fear, built an ark, right? To save his family. By faith, his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. Say, by faith. Say, by faith, by faith, right? You, you see how everything is like, by faith, he did. By faith, by faith. I'm asking you this morning, by faith, what are you doing? Are you operating in unwavering faith, right? Verse eight, verse eight says, by faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went. God is telling some of you to obey and go, obey and go, even though he did not know where he was going. 
God is saying that to some of you. You may not know the whole story. You might not see the whole picture, but I still told you to go, go. Say, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, amen? Verse nine says, by faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of same promise. Mm, yes. Verse 10 says, for he was looking forward to the city with foundations whose architect and builder is God. I know God is my architect and builder. Hallelujah. Some of you have been trying to work some things out. You're trying to, you've been trying to build some things. Say, God is my architect and my builder, right? And so, and by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful, who had made the promise. Amen. Verse 12 says, and so from this one man, and he as God, as dead came descendants, as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sand on the seashore. Glory to God. Verse 13 says, all these people, say all of these people, and you might want to include you yourself in that, all these people were still living by faith when they died, right? There are some things that, you know, sometimes we get upset because we don't always see things happen. And I know that, and some of you might not want to hear this, but there are going to be some things that are going to be manifested way after you're gone. You know, you may not even be here to see some of the things that you've been praying for come to pass because they're going to come through through your children and through your grandchildren. And that's all right with me. I'm building a legacy for that reason. Right. And so that's what we have to do. But we have to do it by faith. So all these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. People who say such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country. How many of you are longing for a better life? You've gone through a lot of struggles. You've gone through a lot of hurt. You've gone through a lot of pain, but you're longing for a better life. You know, I minister to women who are starting over after divorce, after abuse, after tragedy, and, and they're longing for a better life. It's okay to want better. Say it's okay to want better. And so they're longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Hallelujah. For he has prepared a city for them. Glory to God. Glory to God. Say, listen, I'm going to stay in faith because no matter what happens right here on earth, I know God has a better place for me. Glory to God. I'm not going to always suffer. Say, I'm not going to always suffer. Verse 17 says, by faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son, even though God had said to him, it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Glory to God. Abraham reasoned that God could even raise the dead. And so in a manner of speaking, he did receive Isaac back from death, right? Verse 20 says, by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau in regard to their future. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of Joseph's sons, glory to God, and worship as he le leaned on the top of his staff. Verse 22 says, by faith, Joseph, when his end was near, spoke about the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt and gave instruction concerning the burial of his bones. Mm. 
and it goes on and on and on and on and on. So what are you believing God for today? By faith. What are you pressing in for, you know, uh, praying about and just trusting God for? By faith. The thing is, we have to have unwavering faith. And that's why you need to order this tea as a reminder that, that no matter what it looks like, whether it's the coronavirus, a pandemic, no matter what happens, my finances are messed up. I'm sick in my body, but I am trusting God by faith. I will not give up. Say, I will not give up. I will have unwavering faith. We're going to trust God no matter what it looks like. We're going to trust God no matter what it feels like. And we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that means you need to get into what? The word of God. And you need to trust God today. Say, I will trust God. And so I just want to pray really quick, family. And then I, I'm going to move on because I got a lot of other things to do. Father God, we thank you, glory, glory to God. We thank you, God, that we can trust you by faith. I thank you, God, that we can have unwavering faith. And I just pray, Lord God, that you will give us unwavering faith. I know right now a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are struggling, Lord God. A lot of people are wondering what to do and they don't even know they don't have a clue but by faith we're going to stand on your word lord god by faith we're going to trust you lord god we're not going to be double-minded by faith we're going to leave it to you to work it out and turn everything around for our good hallelujah and even though things may not work out exactly the way we expected them to we trust you that everything's going to work out for our good because you are our heavenly father. You sit high, but you look low. You're our loving heavenly daddy, and we trust you today, Father. Say, I trust you today, Father. And Lord God, I just speak a third John blessing over everyone under the sound of my voice, and by faith, I call it done. Hallelujah. I pray above all things that we will prosper, that we will be in health, even as our soul prospers. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to receive it by faith. Say, I receive it by faith. I will operate in unwavering faith in the name of Jesus. Listen, family, I thank you so much for joining me um, on Wednesdays in my virtual closet, in my virtual uh, closet space as we wear the word Wednesday. We wear the word so that we are reminded every day that the word is true. Say, God's word is true and I trust him. So I need for you to trust God no matter what it looks like. I need for you to trust God no matter what it feels like. I need for you to trust God no matter what. Amen. Thank you. If you want to order your shirt, ask me how. I'll help you place that order. And remember that each time you purchase something from our apparel line or, or our books or anything, you're helping us to fund Kingdom Projects and you're helping us to help a, a, a woman in crisis. God bless you. Have a great and marvelous day. And I will see you the next time by faith. Say by faith, by faith, by faith, unwavering faith. Bye-bye.